Griffin Hart Midnight Evolution Special. Leaving on track number nine for Happyville, where the limo will be waiting for us. If you can comprehend what I tell you, especially in the commercial, every single person that watches this show, their life is going to change for the better, Mom. Oh, yeah? And forever. So get in the dining car because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get everybody released, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to get released right now. Yeah. We're going to get released. Thanks to Robert Zimmerman, right, Ma? Oh, Robbie Zimmy. And while we're riding, we'll be riding up and then we'll catch the limo. We'll tell you when we get there, right? Yeah. Right now so we're going back to the, we're just 19 the dining car. 1970s, maybe. Yeah. Hmm? Late 60s, early 70s. I would hazard a guess. Get ready to release. <laughs> it's a funny show, too, isn't it, Mom? Keep going, Mom. They say every man must need protection. Say every man must fall. Oh, I swear I can see my reflection somewhere so high above the wall. to the east any day now any day now I shall be released down here next to me in this lonely crowd
any day now, any day now, I, I shall be relieved. <laughs> okay, everybody settle down. Taking you back to the 70s there because we got to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, Ma, what do you think about that 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? That's how we get into the, we okay. get, we, we got to step outside the door to our mind because, you know, that's what they told me. They said, you got to, you got to mesmerize them. Yes. He was a dude who used to mesmerize the women down in France. <laughs> Mr. Mesmer. Mesmer. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to pick up the limo to take us to the on the big ride out to the station because as we go out through the farm fields, we're going to come to the cornfield where the old uh, country artists and various artists come out and ask us to do their sh songs, don't they? Yeah. Yes, they do. So, when I hit one, you're all going to step out the door to your mind and get into the back of the old beautiful vintage 55 Cadillac limo is everything in the back there that you could ever imagine. Any people, any Whatever, you know, mm -hmm. alcohol and drugs in there sometimes, Ma. If you want them. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Because it's a Zandu Valley pleasure home decree in the back of that limo. Pleasure home and decree? Pleasure. What? You said pleasure home decree. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> That's what I think it is. <laughs> it's old English, you know, uh, Ma. You got to appreciate it's old English. I thought it was pleasure poet. dome decree. Pleasure dome. <laughs> I thought you were trying out some new thing that was really good. <laughs> oh, it's really good, I think. <laughs> pleasure home degree. <laughs> Sorry, continue on. <laughs> no, it is a pleasure dome because I'm thinking about the roof of the 55 yeah. Caddy because it is very much a dome. Yeah. Pleasure dome. Yes. Get in the pleasure dome. I was supposed to get one when I was 16, but the guy who was giving it to me lost it in a poker game. A Cadillac? <laughs> yeah, a 55 Cadillac. Oh. And that was in, like, Aww. 1985, so it was, like, really cool. Oh, yeah, was it? Mm -hmm. um, Dad. That puts me born in 1970, right? Yeah. Correct. Are we going to count down? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to count down first. <laughs> 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 okay, so when I get to one, everybody's stepping outside the door to their mind and sliding into the back of the old limo that I've spent a half an hour talking about. Yeah. Pleasure home decree. Five. Get into it. Four, it's going to be a magical experience. Three, just like I said, you'll never be the same. <laughs> Two, forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was something else. You, One. You'll forever be the same. Um, for the better. Yeah. One, get in that damn Cadillac. <laughs> We're gonna take a ride. We're gonna take a ride. We're gonna take a ride. I pass the honky tone. I pass the honky tone. And pass the county line. I pass the county line. Through the amber waves of grain. Through those waves of grain. And pass the dairy cow. With their big brown. And then we're coming up into the cornfield now. Maul's got to get out, stick her head out the window, and see what. I don't even have to look. I know Jimmy who it Joe is. is driving. He's always Hank there. Hank is on the board over there, keeping the people from the nervous hospital back, because it's the it's the second L.A. Perry home companion, Ma. Yeah. What was I talking about, Ma? Who's coming out of the cornfield? Oh, who's coming out of the cornfield? It's Johnny Cash, Dad. Oh. Johnny Cash, and he wants us to sing Folsom Prison Blues. Uh, we'll do a funky rendition, John. Folsom Prison. I hear that train a coming. It's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sun shine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. Dragging on. That train keeps moving on down to San Antonio. Hello. I lost my stash. If they freed me from that prison, if they 
that railroad train was mine. Bet I move it on a little farther down the line. Oh man, I'm stuck in the Folsom prison, Bob. Folsom prison. That's time wild. keeps dragging on. Yeah, time keeps dragging on. And that train keeps moving on down the sand. Rich folks eating in that fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. Can't be free. Who the hell wants to be free? But that train keeps moving. And that's what tortures me. Bet there's rich folks eating in them fancy dining cars. They're probably drinking coffee, Ma. Yeah. Smoking big cigars. Oh man, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. All right, any of us really free? But those people keep moving. Oh, that's what torture me. Oh, I'm stuck in fools in prison. Roll my blues away. Oh, I thought he had, uh, June is yelling at me. She says we got to do Jackson. Okay. She wants to hear the way we do Jackson. All right. All right. So I don't know, it's up here somewhere. Wait, are we going to finish the ride? Oh, no. We're going to do yeah, June. We got we're we're going to do a Johnny and a June. Okay, well, what are you playing? Uh, Jackson. Isn't that okay? Yeah, I think so. We got married in a fever. Hotter than a pepper sprout. We've been, been talking talk about that Jackson ever since the fire went out. I said, I'm going to Jackson. I won't mess around. He's mess around. I want snowball Jackson. Look at Jackson time. We're going down to Jackson. Go ahead and drink your hell. So play your hand, you big dog. The man, make a big fool of yourself. You go, Jackson. Go comb your hair. I want snowball Jackson. If I can If they freed me from that prison Is that not right, Ma? What is it, Ma? I don't know, you threw me off Huh? You threw me off Yeah, I'm going, Jackson I won't mess around I won't snowball Jackson Look at Jackson time City, all the people going stoop and bow. Ha. All of them women going to make me teach them what they don't know how. I said that I'm going to Jackson. I'll turn the loose of my coat. I'm going to Jackson. If that's all she wrote. That Jackson, ever since the fire went out, I'm going to Jackson. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. Hey, I'm going to Jackson. I'm never coming back. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to Jackson. I might be coming back. Well, you can run on down to Jackson. Chuck and crawl and bang. I'm out of here.
out of here. We should finish the ride now, Dad. Oh, yeah, we got to get going. We get back in the limo. We're on the way. We got to get to the show. Make sure you're in the back of the limo because they might get excited and got out of the car there. Yeah, there they are. Because we're coming up to the old county line road, the old country road. And all the girl is too. All the girl is too. Hanging out of the window. Hanging out of the window. And somebody sees a great big tower. 50,000 watts. Station GHRT. Oh, station GHRT. Station GHRT. Is there for you and me? Is there for you and me? Rappy, happy, oop, pop, boop, body, oop, body, oop, pop, boop, bum. Brought to you by Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want. Walk down at Alice's Restaurant. Okay, now we're gonna go. We gotta get up to the old station, the old station GHRT, the old retro station. Got the big studio in the bottom. Let's go to the front desk and see Betty Page. Yes, we're gonna see Betty Page. Gonna give you your specialty and send you down the stairs here to me. For the really big old time radio medicine show, Three Chords and the Truth, starring Molly Griffin and her old dog, Doo. And the Rev. Dr. Joe G2 coming to you live from Station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind, where the show always starts in five minutes. And we don't spend too long on the turntable, we spend them on our souls. So kick back spend and chill out, relax, to the sounds of the singing Spend them on our souls. We spend them on our arseholes. Maybe Bobby you do. People from the nervous hospital sincerely like it when I go like a bit wacky. Wacky. It's because it keeps them in a job. Are the people from the, the nervous hospital? The people from the nervous hospital are like Dr. Tartini. Yeah. Wait, no. You know, did patients? you see the cuckoo's nest? No, are they the patients or are they the people who work there? They're the patients. Oh, I thought they were the people who work well, there because there they're be always some here in to make there sure. too because they go uh, the same way. You know, when mentally ill and mentally healthy people to get together, yeah. the mentally healthy, the mentally ill don't get healthy. Yeah. The healthy you know, get mentally ill. Yeah, the mentally healthy get mentally ill. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work the I other way around, so be careful. When you say the people from the nervous hospital, I thought these people were like doctors who were going to cart you away if you got too crazy. That's okay. There's some of them there, too. Okay. They're all out there. <laughs> Hank has got them all under control. Everything is going to be all right. Because Johnny and June like their little song. We did it in the wrong chord. Yeah. We're supposed to be doing that I here. I know. And that's why because I Because it's our guitar is small. You have I no know. bass. I know. That's why I said something. But then you said, yeah, this is right. Whatever. What the hell? We did it, didn't we? We sure yes, did. Yes, we did. There's no turning back now because that train's left. Train's Speak. gone. It's gone. Okay, now we're at the show, right? We're in the middle of the show, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Over halfway. Oh, I'm getting really nervous. <laughs> it's okay. We only got like 10 minutes left. Oh, I, I, okay. But let's sing one song and then I'll do a commercial because I got to do the commercial. All right. Let's sing hard that you Commercials are only like 30 seconds. Real quick. Yep. I mean, you can rerun over them because they're like full of good juicy. And that's going to change your life forever. Let's sing hard that you owned by Dwight Yoakam. Okay. Let's do it. Right here? I think so. Close enough. It's probably worn up, but we'll do it here. All right. I got it. <laughs> I just got it. I didn't. I was going over to uh, get yeah. it. And just as I was going over, I uh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I pay the rent on a rundown place. There ain't no view but there's lots of space in my heart. Heart that you own. I pay the rent, I pay it right on time. Oh, baby, I pay you every single dime for my heart. Heart that you own. Used to be I could love you for free way back before you bought that property. I pay daily on wants is mine. Oh, I probably owe you for these tears I'm crying. I pay the rent on a rundown place. There ain't no view, but there's lots of space in my heart. 
heart that you own. In my heart, heart that you own. Struggle each night to find a new way to pay you what I owe, just so I can stay. I ain't overdue, so you can't throw me out. Oh, I've loved you for years. I don't know where I'd go now. I pay the rent on a rundown place. There ain't no view of this large space in my heart. Heart that you own. Dwight Yoakam, Patty Loveless, Kentucky, USA. How'd you like that? He's got to send those jeans up right away for that because that was like real poetic. I love that song. It always feels too short to me. That's because Dwight, who is a genius, mm -hmm. knew right there in the 90s or whatever it was. Yeah, 90s, I think. Yep. That country music needed a real country song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Because I think Alan was already getting fat. He'd already wrote Real World and Cowboys yeah. Don't Cry and all that stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. You know? Yeah. So I really needed it. <laughs> and by golly, he was like Buck because that's his uh, guy. Yeah. Buck is his guy. Yeah. And he knew he needed it too. And he just did it. Same as Buck yeah. did with uh, Crying Time and Together Again, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Need a little song. Okay. Uh, my little uh, commercial tonight is on Brain Chemistry 101. Number one. <laughs> We have little or no awareness of all the things our reptilian brain does. That thing I call the croc. Mm. Croc out with your croc out. Rock out with your rock, rock out. Rock with your croc out. One of them is its um, overall obsession about evolving. Mm -hmm. Your th your croc brain is obsessed with evolving. Yep. Get that straight. And okay. you have no... Just like you have no sense of it making you want to sleep or poop or all those kinds of things. It's doing that on its own yeah. without your awareness. Yeah. And you said yesterday it didn't matter that we know that, and I'll talk to you later about that. But anyway, huh? number two. <laughs> number two. Don't go number two. <laughs> but Because number two, it has three areas of concern. Re, it's working environment. Do you understand that? Yeah. It w it's obsessed with evolving. It's got three areas it wants you, your objective self, to take care of, to help it, yeah. to get in on, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. 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 We call them rooms, and we put doors on them. Door number one, two, and three. That's three rooms. Yeah. And you know what? Each one is full of your stuff. Yeah. That's why I don't tell you what to do. Yeah. I'm just, we're just saying, it's in there. Yeah. It's in that room. You got to look yourself because how, how the hell do we know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Door we're number we're one. We're has got all the stuff in it regarding your own personal sense of meaning and purpose in life. Mm -hmm. Plus growth and development, which isn't that right in line with the croc? Yep. He needs that growth and development. Yes, he does. Yep. You know, they rate countries by their growth and development. Huh? GDP. Door number two has got all your stuff regarding order, security, organization, protection, safety, and fair play. And Molly just likes to call that protection because mm. she's a nervous woman. Mm-hmm. Door number three <laughs> has all your stuff around your connection to what is natural, is the way I like to put it. Your synchronization with nature. Mm -hmm. That sounds really fancy, but it's not. It's like really down to earth. Okay? You got to get your paleo glasses on. You got to look at what you were doing before uh, we started making up these belief systems that screwed us all up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just keep the good stuff, you know, and check the other stuff. Yeah. But, you know, you, you're supposed to get exercise and eat right. Yeah. Paleo glasses, we call it, don't we, Mom? Yep. And, uh, for instance, in door number three, it would come relationships. Because your connection to nature yeah. is also human nature, right, Mom? You're True. still with me, Mom? I'm with you, Dad. Okay, I'm good. with you. So, there's two really important other parts of the puzzle. Mm-hmm authenticity if it's not you 
that's looking behind the doors. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've got to go looking for you first. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, man. Maybe you got to head on down to the Amazon. They got the ayahuasca down there, Ma. Crack you wide open, and you may find the real you. <laughs> but don't do that if you're like a kid watching a show or something like that, because you don't know what you're doing. You got to find somebody that knows what they're doing. You got to find someone to take you down to the Amazon. <laughs> the problem with personas and low empathy, oh, that was another thing. Uh-huh. You gotta watch your empathy there. Yep. And the importance of the mother infant bond. Mm. I'm afraid we might be losing that, Ma, because mm. they've sent all the mothers out to work and get careers. Yep. Too early. They should be doing that after. Yeah. Right? When they got a chance of competing, it's a really a dirty trick on the girls. It's a dirty trick. Yeah, they trick you into thinking you don't have time. Yeah, it's really a messed up. It's a messed up item. Yeah. I think girls can take on the males uh, in any of those things that they want to, except maybe you know the UFC or something like that. Well, especially as you get older, you get more able to deal with guys. Take them on. If you just comprehended what I just said, it's going to change your life. It, it takes time to sink in. Mm -hmm. But when it does, for the better, forever. Yeah. Because now you can troubleshoot and be your own doctor. Yeah. Just go behind and look at them doors. Now, have you got a good song, Mom? Because yeah. it feels like I've been talking for a long time. How totally. long was that commercial? Mm. Supposed to be 30 seconds. It was like <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. <laughs> Got carried away there. We're gonna we're gonna hand uh, hand, uh, hand off the show at uh, two pina coladas. But we do it in a beat, and I don't want to do it in the wrong key. Okay. <laughs> Why are you like really important in it? I just really like it. I want to do it right. You want to sing a verse? No. <laughs> I like it how it is. This is how you feel after you get into the what I was talking about, right? Yeah. It's just like two pina coladas, isn't it, Ma? Yeah. I was feeling the blues, watching the news. This fella came on TV. He said, I'm telling you, science is proved. Heartache is healed by the sea. That got me going without even known I packed right up and drove down now I'm on a roll I swear to my soul Tonight I'm gonna paint this town Oh, bring me two pina coladas One for each hand I'm setting sail on the Captain Morgan I ain't never gonna leave dry land Troubles, I forgot them Hey, I buried them in the sand Bring me two pina coladas And say goodbye to a good time of mine Bring me a VA from the Philippines, too I'll oh, bring me two pina coladas And say goodbye to a good time of mine Oh, now I gotta say that the wind and the waves The moon winking down at me Eases my mind by leaving behind The heartache that love often brings I got this smile and it goes on for miles With no inclination to roll and I got a sailing and I'm gonna stay Cause this is feeling more and more like home I'll bring me two pina coladas One for each hand I'm setting sail on the Captain Morgan I ain't never gonna leave dry land Troubles I forgot them yeah, I buried them in the sand Bring me to Pina Colada And say goodbye to a good time of man 
Oh, bring me to Pina Colada and say goodbye to good time and man. for a hound dog. Oh, yeah. You didn't chill out now. Didn't chill out now. Told him once or twice, quit playing cards, shoot and die. He's in the jail out now. Oh, how's hound dog go? Nothing but a hound. Rock on top, nothing but a hound dog. Rockin' on top. Oh, you ain't never got a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. Oh, say how much is that doggy in a window? Oh, man, the one with the waggly tail. She's got a waggly tail. I said, how much is that doggy in a window? Do hope that doggies are safe. If she is, we're gonna go get Roger Miller and gonna we're gonna go, go walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song about the old Bobby old boy. You got to put a smile upon your face as if nothing wrong, Bobby old Bobby old boy. You got to think about a good time as you had a long time ago. Think about getting about your worries and your old walking in the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. You're walking in the sunshine song. You're walking in the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. Now listen, but there's actually anybody out there interested in what I said in the commercial there. It's my quick commercial. It was only 30 seconds. I always forget them to, if, if there happens to be anybody out there, they could go on down to Patreon, read about that, all that stuff down there. Because you know that, that the, uh, the, um, the Americana Guru will answer every and all questions down there at the Griffin Art Project at Patreon. Now, you keep the cards and letters coming in, and we'll see you in the funny papers and have yourselves a good old old tobedo, man. And uh, France and underpants and England and Yugoslavia is six parts. Six parts. I think one of them is Serbia. Anyways, uh, Hungary and Russia and China and Japan. You know, Indonesia, Philippines. And Alaska, the great state of Alaska, have a good old Dolce Vita's for the works. Yes. <laughs>